Welcome back YouTube. We're going to be making a, a power head a spray bar alteration that I came up with um, out of a few simple parts that you can find at your local hardware store. Um, so all we need um, are three sixteenths or I think these are, no, these are three fourths size pipes 90s with the uh, hose adapter on them. Uh, we're going to make an intake valve. We simply just screw into one another. No glue required. I haven't had any leaks or anything. Just make sure that they're good and tight. And then I push them. Push it flat so that they're parallel with one another. Since this is going to be the intake, we only need a small bit of hose. And to clean the top of my water, I created this overflow of, uh, canister of just an old yogurt container. Put a little hole in the side for your suction cup. That way you can adjust the height of this, your water level, and this will go right in there. And the water will come across and through these holes down into the cup and it will clean off the top of your water. Alright, the bar, spray bar, this gives us good circulation. I uh, had a problem with getting the water to go completely around my tank, being such a large tank. So I came up with this design in order to uh, direct the water where I want it to go. In the power head, you're going to want to leave this one end a little loose. That way you can adjust it uh, where you want it to go if you want a direction of water flow. Between these two, I add a small bit of hose. If you wanted it uh, further down into your tank, uh, you, can, you can add a, a bit larger hose length. That way can add pressure or spray the water in the part of your tank that you need it to go to. I usually keep mine close to the top that way if the electricity was to run out or they shut it off, storm comes by, my water doesn't flow all over the floors. Alright, this would attach to your container or uh, canister filter. And then you can adjust the level of the water jet down or up, however you wish. So, thank you for watching. Um, we'll be having many more projects soon. And I'll show you how this is up and running. Thank you very much. 
So here's the tank set up and running with the new filter. Um, sorry about the delay on the the next video. It's just that uh, I had to do a lot of tweaking. I wasn't getting the circulation that I wanted, so I had to build this bar. And I'll show you how that make that in a minute. But see how clean the water is now? So our, our bucket filter we made, doing good. Thank you for watching. So here is the overflow. And I made sure that put the sponge on there inside that container. Because I found some of my loaches in my filter. They had swam up in there. So make sure you put this sponge around your intake so that uh, your fishies don't get caught up in there.